Good evening and welcome to another episode of Travelling Football Fan with me, John Seeger, and we are back on the road again with the FA Cup. This time it's the reverse game from Saturday where it's Everton from Belvedere versus Tooting Mitchum United. The game finished one all. Now we've got a replay. So glad replays are back, so a little bit of money for everyone after especially after the, pand the ongoing pandemic. So yeah, let's see what happens. We're on our way to Welling, because that's where Everton from Belvedere play. And this is how we get there today. So our journey begins here, once again in South Croydon, which is in Surrey. And we make the journey to South East London, to Welling in fact, and to Parkview Road, home of Welling United Football Club and their other tenants, Everton Belvedere Football Club. And here's how we get there today. So first, it's a short bus journey into Central Croydon, and then a little tiny walk to East Croydon Station. From there, it's the first train up to London Bridge Station. And then from there, it's about a 10 minute wait from there to get on our train down to Welling. And then from there, it's a 10 minute walk to the football ground, Parkview Road, and to where our game is today. Just arrived at the ground, we've got about 40 minutes to go to left till kickoff, so yeah, it's going to be, uh, see how Saturday's game is really tight. And um, yeah, without the penalty, and obviously every Belgium will be through to the next round. But um, yeah, it'd be interesting what happens. It's been like six, that four or five days anyway since the last since the last game. So yeah, I've got a feeling it could be a good one tonight. Might go all the way penalties and extra time. We'll just have to wait and see. But let's see what happens anyway. Half time here, it's nil now. We've got to say, two to Mitchum have had a lot of the possession, a lot of the chances. A couple of good ones, but um, easily dealt with by the uh, Everton Belford keeper. But at the other end, they're two to Mitchum were very, very lucky not to have two goals conceded. Mainly through defensive mix up, but mainly just the luck of the, the luck of the ball just falling in with them. But yeah. Two in the Mitchum starting to show their quality now. But they just need that last little boy of quality to get a goal and um, hopefully see our face spirited there with Beldy. Let's see what happens in the second half.
goal for Everton Bay will be here and a lovely well work corner coming from Tyler Anderson Parr gives it the right place at the right time and get into the back of the his head and Everton Bay will be here to take the lead. About half an hour to go and we have an equaliser of Tutani Mitchell. Dan Williams got the ball right in the middle of the pitch, took away from his defender and he just coolly slotted it into the lower the bottom of the corner. That's the goalkeeper, 1-0, we have a game on. around here it's a power another penalty has gone to Tutin and Mitchum balls crossed in and I've got to say it was very debatable it was looked on the edge but it looks like it was given he was pushed inside he was pushed inside the box penalty to Tutin and Mitchum here we go oh my god what a miss that was terrible Finals has just gone here, it's finished 1 0. And um, should have been 2 1 to 2 team mission, but that penalty miss was absolutely one of the worst I've ever seen. So we're on for an extra 30 minutes, and who knows, maybe even more penalties later. Let's see what happens. Goal of the game for Everton Belder and a second goal of the game for Tyler Anderson Parr and this time I don't think he actually meant it. He got the ball on the wing, he hit the drilled across right into over towards the goalkeeper. The keeper was trying to to scramble to it and it just went to the top corner. Absolutely shocked everybody and to and uh, Everton Belder have taken the lead here in extra time.
Their goal of the game for Everton Belvedere and it's got to say it's game over. Ball's given away right on the left on the right hand side of the pitch. And McNeary was there. He ridged away from his defender and just coolly slotted it past the keeper. It's 3-1 with about two minutes left to go of extra time. And finished it, finished 3 1. Ever, ever did it. Definitely deserved it after the 120 minutes, but the game could have changed if that penalty was scored. It's unfortunate for Tooting and Mitchum United, but that's where their journey ends. And we now follow on with Ever from Belvedere as they play AFC Croydon Athletic, another favourite team of mine, <laughs> local team of mine. That'll be here at Parkview Road, that'll be on the Sunday, the 22nd of August. We'll be here for that. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Crabman Football Fan. It's been a good night here at um, Parkview Road and we'll leave you with some of the highlights now as Everton Belvedere finally made it through to the preliminary round of the FA Cup. Formal is here. Good night.